ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my playthrough of Maple Story Part 2. This is your host, Ed XR, XNAT, XChuck, and I'm about, I'm gonna continue the, the video and see if I can get out of Maple Island before the end of the video. The town chief. Well, look what the maple tree spit out! You work with mine, right? Consider yourself lucky, she's the most powerful person I've ever met. Could use a bit of confidence in both, though. The text beneath you, your fate says your ed name's Ed Place, eh? Not, not as dapper and suave as Lucas, but we can't all be me. So, I'm trying to find the accent for this guy, but... You, we won't really see him much, just for this part. Oh yeah, and the name of the quest is Welcome, now Scram. Let me officially welcome you to Amherst, but I'm afraid that you can't stay here. I, I can't? Unfortunately not, I mean, it's a great town and the mushroom flavor coffee is amazing, but it's not for you. How come? Amherst for all folks like me. You have your own life ahead of you. You have battles to fight, areas to explore, new people to meet, new foods to taste. Can't I fight, explore, and meet new people here? All we've got here are orange mushrooms and some pigs. You can't get to level 250 fighting those. I can't? Not unless you want to slay 3 billion of them. I don't get it. You get less XP of, for hunting weaker monsters. Eventually, when you reach a certain level, you won't get any XP at all. Leveling sounds difficult. It doesn't have to be. The trick is to fight monsters near your level. And if I can not do that, if I stay on Maple Island, I think I get it now. Good! Then let me give you these tickets you can take a one way trip of this island and onto adventure. Hand this taken over to Visely uh, at the South Perry Harbor. He'll ferry you over to Victoria Island and you and your real adventure can begin. Don't look so sad, I was kidding about the one way thing. You can always come back and visit me and I. So that's Lucas. So apparently they can break the fourth wall. And that's pretty much the characters that will do that. The others will respect and respect the game, basically. I should do say that a lot. Huh. So far we go. Also, um, at, at once at some point, as, as you saw before, the monsters will drop some cards. And with these cards, if you take your mouse and double click on the enemies. Hmm. I think. Hmm. Maybe that's not the case. I'm not sure. Because at some point, I'm pretty sure you could have. Maybe if I do this. No. But anyway, it's just because uh, you have some sort of um, encyclopedia for monsters. You can know um, how many HP does a monster have, their name, and what kind of drops they they can drop when they die. So I don't want to kill much of these monsters, I'm just gonna check things around. There used to be quests here, but I don't think there's rele relevance in there. And this is the split road of destiny, like the name says, I guess. Basically, here, if you don't know, if you if you're really a new player and you don't know what to choose for a class, as you can see, there's mage, pirate, thief, archer, and warrior. And if I click like the warrior class, then the NPC will say the description of the class. And it's gonna show us a little video with our character in it and a few skills you get as a warrior. So 
so that was warrior and now I'm gonna show you guys magician and uh, the description I guess you can read it when you um, play the game because we're gonna see either way these guys but when you have to choose your class I could go into detail on what kind of class. Well, when you reach level 30 of a class, you can go further into and specify what do you want. But before I get into that, I'm gonna just first show the beginner and intro of, of these classes. So now I'm gonna show you pirate. Pirates use uh, guns and knuckles. But if you want to use cannons and you're an explorer, well, you have to remake your character again and, and click on the cannoneer, cannon master class. You, you can't do it here. I'm not sure why, or maybe it has changed, but I don't know. Now I'm gonna show you the Thief class. The Thief class uses daggers and... or... Yeah, and throwing stars. And the last one is the Archer. They use both bows and crossbows. Um, it's a, there's a difference between those two because if you use a bow, you can shoot faster, but your damage isn't as strong as a crossbow. While the crossbow, you sh it, your arrows are all stronger, but you shoot a little more slowly than the bow. The opposite, really. So yeah, this is just a small video. I'm not sure which class to pick, maybe Magician, Warrior, or maybe Thief. So yeah, now I'm gonna go try to get off this island. Now we're gonna advance more into the story and I'm gonna use some voice acting. Ah, the new explorer! You don't need a ticket to board. Rules are rules after all. Your ticket checks out. Wonderful. Not quite the adventure time. It's it's free for beginner. It's free for beginner explorers to use the Shangri-La, but we're still doing some maintenance on the ship. Mind winding down for a bit? Okay. Right, my mo must have thought you were that girl is seriously amazing. Why don't you take a leisurely, st leisurely stroll around when we finish up here? Um, excuse me, um, is that girl saying something? You can barely hear her. Excuse me. Um, excuse me, over here. Um, er, excuse me, er. The girl is too flustered to speak. Hi, what's up? I, 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 I lost my boat ticket. The ticket to get to Victoria Island? I lost it in a box somewhere nearby. I didn't want the boat to leave without me, so I was gonna ask the captain to wait, but I'm too scared. The boat isn't going anywhere for a while, and they wouldn't leave without me. I'll search. I'll help search for a ticket. R really? You'll help? Uh, oops, I... Uh... Okay. My ticket's in a box. There are too many boxes in South Perry. I don't know which one. 
Do you really think you can find my boat boarding ticket? Why is it so hard to talk to strangers? So I'm just gonna go back, look for a box, search for a ticket, and come back. So now I can throw red snail shells. And that's the ticket. Now I can either choose between speed or recovery. I think I'll pick recovery because later on you get more abilities for speed and you don't really need people feel at that point. That's my, my, my ticket! Thank you, Ed Blaze. Now we can board the boat. Look, I think the captain is ready to depart. Ready to sail? Now's not a good time. I've got a situation. What's wrong? I haven't the foggiest notion how this happened. But there are monsters on board. Say, you're an explorer. Think you can, you know, take care of them? Yes. Great! Just hop on on those stairs over there to get to the monsters. I'll let you on board. Go defeat the monsters rampaging my ship. So we have to kill a big snail. If you don't have the troll, the snail skill, it's a bit longer. Because you have to, well, as you saw, the enemy can literally kill you in three hits. And for safety measures, you take some potions and shoot at snails. But either way, he's easy to take. Of course, if you fight him closely, close fighting, you can die much faster. You can rage. But, oh uh, well, it's not, not that hard anyway. Hey, you really did it! Let me just sort a few things with the ship first, then we'll go. Hop on, let's boogie on down to Victoria Island, for real this time! And thanks to you, we're ready to set sail. You ready to board? Yes. And now we're here on the boat along some other NPCs. I don't care. A, stra a strange explorer. Hey, cow! What are you doing here? Who is this guy? Is he talking to you? Hello, cow! It's me, Tess! Hey, buddy, it's been a long time. I really need to talk to you. Cow, really? What brings you here? Man, you haven't changed a bit. Listen, Tess, is it? You've got the wrong person. My name is Ed's Blaze. Ed Blaze. Very funny, cow, but don't mess with me. I mean it. I'm not in the mood. I'm not messing with you. I'm not cow. I've never seen you before in my life. I just got here. Are you... Are you serious? You're really not, cow? I'm really not. Sorry. My bad, my bad. But I swear, you took look exactly alike. Seriously, sorry about that. My mistake. So, yeah. Later on, you're gonna see why he... He talked to you like that. In, if you decide to follow the story. Because there are a lot of side missions. And, or you can just grind on the monsters. Thanks for helping me earlier. I'm Sugar. Victoria Island or Bust. You you de defeated the monsters and you really helped me out too. And please. You seem r ready to pick a job. Did you decide which one you want? Huh? Job? There are five different explorer jobs. You can advance to them on Victoria Island. Hmm. I think they were warrior, magician, woman, thief, and pirate. What are they like? Let's see. Warriors have great de great strength and defense, though, so they excel at close range combat. Magician use magic, so they favor intelligence over power, and they're good at long range combat against multiple enemies. 
But bowmen, bowmen are also good at long range combat. They shoot arrows from afar and can keep enemies at a distance. And let's see. Thieves are good at close range like warriors, but they focus on speed instead of strength. Finally, pirates are pirates. Some use their fists in close range combat, others shoot guns or cannons from afar. Their attacks are pretty fancy in their way. So, if you picked your job right now, the captain offered to contact your new job instructor as you pull into, into harbor. So, at place, which job do you want? So, I'm not quite sure. You, I can either pick warrior, powerful and defensive, magician, intelligent and magical, bowman, long range and controlled, thief, speedy and sneaky, or pirate, fancy unique. So, I pretty much played all of these classes before, especially magician and warrior, bowman, not so much, pirate, barely and thief as well so hmm, not quite sure maybe I could pick um, uh, no hmm. usually I would pick warrior but I don't want to repeat myself because I already know pretty much all the skills. So I could pick um, Thief, I guess. Oh, totally! At place, you'll make a great Thief! Maybe I should become a warrior. I want to learn to stand on my own two feet and use my strength to help others. Here I come! The ship is ready to set sail! Also, a little mentioning, if you pick the warrior class, the, the NPC sugar will say they want to be a magician, and if you pick magician, they're still gonna say they're gonna be a warrior. It's just extra dialogue, it really doesn't change the story at all. And I'm gonna let you guys hear this. When your fires all die out, oh, you know, just trust to ash, and your life goes slipping, spinning into doubt. Trapped inside your heart, call that love of death in the dark. Looking back on all this, nobody was there. Nothing left to lose. Gotta find the you that's a oh boy, it's lagging a bit. And that ends the tutorial for the explorers. Wow! I see land! And now that we have chosen a job, the uh, NPC job instructor will talk to you pretty much directly like, like this. So, you're the one Mai was talking about, Ed Place. I guess you do have some potential. You want to become a thief? Do you know what thieves are all about? 
Most people think of us as pretty thieves who steal things, but that's not true at all. Thieves in Maple World are those who fight with sharp daggers and throw stars from the shadows. We don't always fight fair, but we always fight to win. As a job, thieves attack enemies with swift, powerful skills. Though their HP are, is a bit a bit low, they make it up with speed, so you had better learn to dodge. High luck allows them to land critical hits often as well. Now, will you join us on the path of thieves? If you decide to do so, I will bring you to the secret thieves hideout in Kerning City using my power as job instructor. You should feel honored. But if you prefer a different job, I will help you find the other packs. Well, yeah, I'm gonna stay as a thief less. And this is the supposedly, supposedly secret hideout, even though it's a bar, which has a hole, and that's a hideout for thieves, apparently. Those who want to become a thief, come. Thieves of Skirting City. Welcome to a thieves hideout. Only those who are invited will ever try to find it. Try not to get lost on the way out. So, are you ready to become a thief? With this, you have become a thief. Since you can use thief skills, open your skill window and have a look. As you level up, you will, you will be able to learn more skills. But skills aren't enough, right? A true thief must have the stats to match. A thief uses luck as the main stat and dex as the secondary stat. If you don't know how to raise stats, just use auto assign. Oh, I gave you a little gift too. I expanded a, a few slots in your equip and etc. item stamps. Bigger inventory, be better life, I always say. Now, a word of warning. Everyone loses some of their earned XP when they fall in battle. Be careful, you don't want to to lose anything you work to get, eh? Right, that's it. Take the equipment I gave you and use it to train your skills as a thief. And yeah, that's... That's how you get the thief class. So these are the stats you have. And since Nexon removed the stat requirement, or uh, be able to equip, equip the clothes. All now, all you can do is basically just auto assign everything on your main stat. So if you're a thief, you use luck, magician, and bowman, guns, and pirates, decks, or strength, dependently, and warrior strength. So I'm just gonna put everything on luck. Also, the more luck you have the more chances you can do crit critical hits and the less uh, percentage you lose when you die because when you die you lose XP and usually if you're a high level and you die you, if you're a warrior for example you can lose up to 10% of experience but if you're a thief with high, with high luck you can just if you die once, you can you lose like one percent in comparison to warriors who can lose a lot. So yeah, these are my skills, which are which depends on how do I want to play. I can use a wrist guard, which allows me to use stars like so. It's long range, so it's effective. Or I can take this dagger and attack with it. But I have to get close to the enemy. And my medal for more HP. So basically in this game, if you want to get better, you need to have medals. Uh, which pretty much says anything. Also, if you become a thief who uses throwing stars, you're gonna need to find better stars than these ones, which are called subis, because those can determine your strength in the battle. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I'm gonna put some 
Espion Bolt to show you guys how to use stars and knives. Also, this is a good a skill, which is called Haste. This increases your speed and jump, which is here, for a certain amount of time. And what's great about this skill is it, it affects your whole party too. So if you do like this, we're gonna put it to A. This is the haste, and as you can see, it has increased my speed to 104%, while my jump is has increased to 102%. When it's max, it's gonna be a lot better because I can walk and jump fast. And now, one of my other skills I should have too, which is Dark Sight. Basically, Dark Sight helps me to become invisible. Like so. Right now, I'm invisible. The enemies can't touch me, but I can't attack either. So it's good if you need to get past some enemies that are really hard and you won't, you won't want to attack them. Or just for anything really. But at some point you can get a, a skill, but that's later in the game anyway. And this is Flash Jump. Which usually in the game you can just do one jump. But with this one, you don't have to equip it on a hotkey, you can just jump. With, with, which you just do with the jump button. So basically this one is jump twice. At first it requires quite a lot of MP to use, but when you max it, it's gonna use much less MP than before and you're gonna go much farther than, than before. So okay, that's... So that's how to get the Thief class and some of the skills. So, I'm just gonna do one last thing before. Henesis, here I come. Get stronger. As a Thief of Kerning City, you need to be ready for anything. Athena Pierce will help you get settled in Henesis. Perhaps you will be stronger the next time we see meet. Until then, safe travels. So now we have teleporter teleported here in Athena Pierce's house, which is the place to go if you want to be an archer. So, hello, hello, at place. I've heard a lot about you from my from the Dark Lord. My name is Athena Pierce, and I'm the Bowman instructor here in Hennessy's. Nice to meet you. I can assure you, Hennessy's is one of the safest town in Maple World. This would be a good place to stay until you find your feet again. Leave through the portal on the right and let Camilla guide you through Hennessy's. Good luck on your journey. So this is... I think this is a side mission. I just got a book. It doesn't really appear in my inventory just for the sake of questing. Um, yeah, this is the story which you can do it uh, when you level. You can't just do it all in a row like in some games. You really have to get some level, and it doesn't it doesn't even tell you what level it is. You you have to expect it or open your quest and really look at what's going. On. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. So. Uh, Thanks for watching, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe, uh, as, as I will do more Maple Story videos. And uh, yeah, see ya. Thanks for watching my playthrough on Maple Story. Like, comment, and subscribe. That really helps me out a lot.